Hey everyone, so you may not know this about me, but before I became a personal stylist, I actually studied a fashion design course which was focusing on dressmaking because I, like many of my other clients, actually struggled to find any skirts or trousers that would fit my curvaceous hips as well as my teeny tiny waist that I have in comparison to those hips. So I either wanted to learn how to make them for myself or even how to tailor the ones that I purchased from the shop to make them fit my body shape. So although I never actually managed to finish that course because I had young children at the time, life, family commitments got in the way of that, I then found another natural progression from that which was the personal styling with the colour analysis, body shape, wardrobe edits, everything like that. I fell in love with the whole process from the start to finish of somebody's transformation. So fast forward a couple of years into my journey as a personal stylist and I had a client contact me who wanted a colour analysis and she was on the island and I was over the moon because it's very rare do I get a client on the Isle of Wight. I tend to have to travel a lot for my job or I do all my services virtually and I was really excited to meet her. So she'd already pre-warned me that she was a YouTuber which which me being me wasn't really sure what that actually involved at the time. I was like, okay, so I'll come along. She's like, can I film it? I was like, yes, you can. And then I also found out she's a sewing teacher, which for me just reignited that passion. And luckily we got on really well and we've become really great friends. You may well know her. She's Sean from Kittenish Behaviour. We became really good friends from the process, but it has just ignited my whole passion for doing sewing again. So we've brought it right back to the beginning and I've actually learned to sew again so I could actually create these skirts that I want to make. So you may remember the first one I did was the, a black A-line skirt with the belt and the two pockets which was recreated from a skirt that I fell in love with while shopping with a client in Another Stories and I desperately wanted to make that skirt because I was sitting right in between the size 12 and the 14 and then had the usual problem across the hips it fit beautifully but around the waist I had so much spare fabric even the belt wouldn't pull it in enough. So Jeanne and I made my sloper which is my body blueprint and from there I can then design anything I want based on that sloper. So now I have my black A-line skirt which I absolutely love it has started off on a slippery slope that I'm now getting my own fabric stash. Not this one I might add. This is Shan's. This is still crazy amount of fabric for my liking but I am in the mini making of this. So I have three fabrics to show you today on my first ever fabric haul. So my first fabric is this one here, which I've gone, I fell in love with the houndstooth print. Now I'm gonna get my terminology correct here because I'm very new to doing fabric hauls. So I wanna get all the info for you. So it's a wool blend suiting fabric from Lady McElroy. So I'm lucky enough that the style of skirt that I like are quite small. So it's a 70 centimeter remnant. So it's a variation of my black A-line skirt, but this time I'm gonna go for super simple. It's not gonna have any pockets, waistband or belt loops. My second fabric is a fabric that I fell in love with whilst I was doing Shard's capsule collection for her. It's the rayon cotton blend suiting material from Lady McElroy. And I fell in love with this one purely for its simplicity, its colour and its texture or lack of colour, the neutralness. You know how much I love a neutral on a colour block. So saw this, loved it straight away. So it's going to be another variation on my black A-line skirt, but this one is going to be waistband only. So then my third fabric is completely out of my comfort zone, even though Shan is assuring me that apparently it's a neutral in the so as well it's for me a very giant print so it's this one here which is a gorgeous little leopard print going down so this is what this is for me about what I could handle to start off with even this is a, a massive leap forward for me but I fell in love with the colors being with the red and the pink together absolutely love the harmonious color scheme with this one so she talked me into this one and I'm really excited to actually work with it so it's 100% viscose and it's a dead stock fabric from Stomy Sunshine and then for this one I'm going to go slightly different with a quarter circle skirt mini okay so I showed you those fabrics it's actually all starting to come back to me how to put these together however Sean is actually teaching me the basics of how to sew so the more we do it the more I'm thinking oh yeah I remember that bit however at the moment I am ridiculously busy with work so I'm kind of gently hinting here because she is sat in the background so I'm not even going to look at her face when I say this but she might might volunteer to do these for me um, and help me along the way with it. So, because I really want these as soon as possible for the spring summer collection, as well as adding them into my autumn winter wardrobe. And that's the great thing about all of those skirts. They're going to be really versatile to work all seasons in my wardrobe. So I get multiple use out of them. So I'm hinting, I can think out of the corner of my eye, she's smiling, but we won't look and we'll just hope for the best that she's going to help me make these. It'll happen. Yay. <laughs> so I'll keep you up to date with the progress on how they're going because these three pieces are actually going to influence a lot of my autumn winter collection that's going to come into the wardrobe. So I'm really excited for that. There is going to be a video coming out on that later on. So keep your eyes peeled. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video on having a look at my very first fabric haul. If so, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, why not check out this one here?